37, 22-6 Kent State. Mathematically, this duel is Kent State's in the win column. But Abro, Eastern, Mi or Eastern Michigan is back to you. I think Abro likes to lift weights. A pretty jack dude. Abro from Canton, Michigan. That's Cole Baxter for Kent State from Butler, PA. So this one's key to the seating of the conference. And 197, a nice weight in this conference. So Per or Abro and Baxter, guys right there to be at the NCAA tournament in the last coaches poll. Baxter was 24. Abro, I believe, 20. So two spots they could qualify for the Mid-American Conference. Dual score 22 6 in favor of Penn State. Shot by Baxter. Gabriel blocks him off. Baxter, tall drink of water. Abro, a little shorter and compact. So some conflicting body types here. Exchanging some little half shots. Baxter, Abro, Baxter, Kent State, Abro. EMU, Eastern Michigan, you can see their two logos right next to one another up above these two. Beauty and the Beast, you have Pittsburgh versus Kent State. Gymnastics dual meet in the background, you got a great crowd about 3,000 people in here tonight. Both sides, and there's a body lock for Cole Baxter on Abro. I wouldn't have called this because Abro is substantially way more jacked, for lack of a better term. Baxter looks like a basketball player. He's got the gable head wrap though, so I gotta give him a little bit of credit. And Abro with a little half shot there. Both guys with little half shots the whole match. Abro now got Baxter jacked up with double underhooks. Baxter burying his head and getting off the mat. Prior an argument for both guys stalling here. Definitely not not Abro right now, but he did the same thing and buried his head and got off the mat. So, but keeps the whistle away for that one, and I'm all right with that. Baxter chucking a jive. Abro is taking a little round. Now we're just back stalemate here. Two seconds, and we're going into the second scoreless and a little bit of a snoozer so far. Abro's choice going underneath right away. Yeah, pretty nice floor exercise there. Now 
Oh, another body lock for Baxter, and now Averill's got double unders. Looking a little foot sweep there. We're off the mat. Seconds left here in the second period. Abra went underneath, got out fairly quickly after a nice return by Baxter. Abra's jacking on the hooks again. Baxter works back to the center. Abra gets another couple movements here and Pepper's a couple shots. You could see Baxter get ding for stalling. But you gotta move to do that. And that's the end of the period. Day. It's Baxter's choice. Abra can ride for the win here. And Baxter's fixing his game. Escape or a reversal. And 
escape and a another stall warning. He needs two points. Because it's 1 0 on the board, but Abro's got the ride time locked up. Abro's got to watch Kitten Ding here and giving up an escape. And he cuts him. So now he's got just put on the track spikes here. And Abro does double on Rich wisely. And Abro's going to take a 2 1 win and win on a ride point for Eastern Michigan, and it's going to make the score 22-9 in the duel, and it gets a 2-1 win on Cole Baxter with the ride.